hi dear students in last lecture we are discussed the absolute value function and the graphs of absolute value function and the properties of absolute value function and uh, here is a graph of absolute value function that is a v-shaped graph and uh, in last uh, uh, lecture we study about the graph and uh, absolute of absolute value function and in this lecture we will discuss the piecewise defined uh, function so uh, uh, before start the piecewise uh, defined function we just revise the definition of absolute value function so if we if, we, uh, if i can uh, define the absolute value function that will be let x be a real number then uh, f of x is equal to x mod uh, we say we read that uh, uh, that uh, absolute of x or uh, magnitude of x that will be equal that equal to be uh, x if x is greater than equal to zero and uh, minus x here is minus minus x if x is less than zero that is the definition of absolute valued function and uh, uh, and this this uh, definition is also be the example of piecewise uh, defined function we know that uh, x belongs to a real number we define here x is a real number so uh, when we draw a, a real line when we draw a real line uh, a real line that becomes uh, that becomes like that from here is 0 here is 1 here is 2 here is 3 up to so on up to infinite and here is minus 1 here is minus 2 here is minus 3 and up to so on, minus infinite and dear students uh, that is uh, if we if we draw here our uh, x y coordinate here it will be y axis that is y axis that is x axis uh, that is uh, 1 2 3 and similarly minus 1 minus 2 and up to so on so for uh, for the for this part of the, this definition uh, divides into two, two into two pieces into two pieces uh, first piece is f of x is equals to x for x is greater than equal to 0 and second uh, piece is f of x is equal to minus x and x is less than equals to 0 so this uh, definition of uh, definition of absolute value function is divided into two pieces so the first piece is start from 0 0 to positive infinite so 0 to, for 0 to positive infinite the function is x and the graph of x is start from 0 we define in we, we draw in the last lecture so that's why the graph is defined as like as that is a graph of f of x is equals to x so so the first piece is uh, f of x is equal to x and the graph of uh, first uh, piece is like that that is a straight line starting from zero and the second part is uh, x is less than zero so it start from here here zero is not included but a uh, very previous point to zero is included uh, included so the graph of this piece uh, becomes like that so uh, this is a, uh, this is also a straight line uh, this is also a straight line so when we when we study the piecewise defined function the definition of piecewise defined function is uh, we define like as and our function f of x is divides into two pieces for from 0 to positive infinite they they define another function which is f of x is equal to x for the interval which is star from 0 to minus infinite they define another function that is minus x so our whole function f of x is consist of two other function for the interval 0 to infinite and 0 to minus infinite respectively so that's why we say that that is our piecewise continuous function uh, because our function is uh, is 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 divides into two parts uh, here is some other another examples we say that if we have if we write uh, the example four from the book uh, which is uh, example four from the book our function our function is 
f of x is 0 if x is less than equals to minus 1 and our function is 1 minus x square square root if our function is uh, greater than minus 1 and less than 1 and our function is x our function is x when x is greater than equals to 1 so this function is also a piecewise function because from uh, x is minus 1 less than x is less than equal to minus 1 they defined a 0 and for uh, 1 minus x square square root uh, this function is uh, this function is a draw between the 1 and minus 1 and f of x is uh, equal to x uh, when whenever x is greater than equal to 0 so when we draw this function when we will draw this function that uh, becomes that will be uh, like that if we draw this function yes students if we draw this function uh, let's suppose that is our uh, y axis uh, that is our x axis uh, that is 1 that is 2 and up to so on here is minus 1 here is minus 2 here is 1 here is 2 here is minus 1 here is minus 2 that is our origin our x axis y axis so when we say that f of x is equal to 0 so 0 whenever x is less than equal to minus 1 so from minus 1 from minus 1 or all the values that are less than minus 1 uh, the value of f of x is 0 it becomes like that like that and from uh, f of x is equal to 1 minus x square square root it is uh, uh, the this this uh, on the interval minus 1 to 1 uh, it represents it represents a semicircle dear students uh, we can uh, we can uh, draw this graph by uh, by uh, by uh, in, in our previous lecture I am I, I, I already mentioned uh, we can make a table and then plot the points and then draw the graph and uh, and the other and the next f of x is equal to x for next piece f of x is equals to x f of x is equal to x that is start from x is greater than equal to 1 from it will start from here that becomes a line straight line so dear students that is uh, a graph here is discontinuity that is a graph of this piecewise defined function uh, for x is less than minus 1 it becomes like that for x is equal to 1 minus x square root uh, it becomes a semicircle for x f of x is equal to x it becomes a straight line so these three uh, three pieces represent a function then uh, that's why we say that f of x is a piecewise function so uh, dear students uh, uh, if if this video is uh, is informative for you then subscribe my channel and press the icon button and uh, we are follow our the book uh, howard and onton uh, so wait for my the next video uh, thank you very much for watching